Welcome back to another video. It's been some time since I filmed and it feels really good to finally be back um, filming again and being in nature and just taking some landscape photos. As you might have noticed, I've been really busy with work and I haven't had the opportunity to vlog or film. And I'm currently in Arnest in Scotland and I've got this place um, to myself. I'm not gonna say where I am just to help protect it a little bit because uh, yeah, <laughs> you just don't know how far things will go with YouTube. Um, so yeah, beautiful location. I'm just heading down to a lock to see what kind of uh, moody, uh, snowy shots I can get because there's a weather front coming through and uh, the snow is about to hit, so let's head on down. So I'm down by the lock and it's really, really windy. It's crazy down here. Um, so I'm setting up a shop, which is a, a lone tree on the lock. Uh, I'm trying to make sure that the branches on the tree are in focus and sharp. So my exposures, I've been between 120, 160. Oh! <laughs> and um, I've been chopping and changing between that and sort of a bit more of a long exposure between 15 seconds. I might do a bit of editing in Photoshop just to add those um, slight movement in the branches. I did almost set up a long exposure um, when there was a little bit of a break in the wind, um, but I, I backed out because I just knew that um, any long exposures in high winds, uh, they're just not worth the effort. Unless you want intentional camera blur, uh, it's not going to work with this shot. So just going to talk you through my settings. Apologies for the audio if it's not very good, um, but let's take you up top and see where we're at. So. Uh, this is my new setup. I've got a new tripod, a little bit more sturdier because um, on my previous trip I broke my camera and um, my tripod was a travel tripod and just too lightweight. So it toppled over. Uh, apologies guys for the wind. Uh, so currently this is my scene, which is this beautiful tree. Lock. Ah! And the high winds. So um, current settings I'm on. F8, one eighth of a second, ISO 100, and let's get out the wind. Bracketing just to get extra exposures because the sky is quite bright in some parts. So, yeah, let's head to the next one and hopefully this weather gets better. So the wind has slightly died down, um, but I do know there is a snow uh, sort of storm coming through. Um, checking the weather forecast before you leave is uh, really key because it's constantly changing. Um, so the second shot that I'm setting up is a stunning lone tree. And this one is a little unusual because uh, it doesn't have too many branches, um, too much uh, or leaves that are moving in the wind or anything like that. It's literally just a skeleton of a tree. Um, so I've isolated this one. It's quite difficult because um, it's not exactly straight, this line here. Um, so I've tried to get in a position um, where 
there's no contact between these branches and the hills. There is a little bit of that, but I've tried to reduce it as much as possible. I'm just going to take you down here out of the wind. <laughs> so this competition, oh, about this composition, uh, I thought I'd pick out another lone tree because I know they're really quite popular, but there's just something calming and really majestic about a lone tree on the water with mountains in the background. Um, I'm quite lucky because there is a moon, half a moon, but slightly above this composition, which uh, I don't know if you're about to see, um, which is slightly in the corner. Um, so settings wise, um, I am slowing down my exposures. I'm on one eighth, one sixth of a second, because it's now getting a bit dark. ISO 100, keeping that as low as possible. And uh, aperture, I'm around about F8. So, really happy with this one. I'm gonna head over to do one more, which is a rolling hills here, um, but on the other side. So there's a path that you can follow down this way. Um, and hopefully I can get my final shot, which is gonna be um, really amazing foreground uh, sort of reeds with mountains in the background. I do know the weather's gonna change though. So, Hopefully we'll make it to the last location, but thanks for bearing with me. I hope you like this shot and I'll put that on the screen now. vlog the last scene because uh, the wind and the snow just suddenly came through um, so I've decided just to talk through that session um, now so the Sun is almost setting I've come back to the original location 
with the skeleton tree and the last location I was just at um, I've done different compositions um, of that one before that hadn't sort of turned out the way I wanted because the sky was too bright so what was amazing is having that massive uh, weather front of that snow coming through um, and just adding so much more atmosphere to the um, shot so I'm going to show you before and after um, of that image now so cue the image on the screen So I'm really happy that I stuck with that location. I visited that location a couple of times, scouted it out, took a couple of test shots, and my first one, the image, uh, the brightness in the sky is just too harsh. I'll let you guys uh, comment below and let me know which ones you prefer. But it's a massive uh, learning experience for me where you should stay at a location, let the conditions change, and the atmosphere of one image can change completely. So I've just finished, it's blue hour, and my final composition, if you guessed it, it's another lone tree. Uh, this one I'm currently setting up, or actually setting down, because I've taken a couple of images already. Um, we had some beautiful pink hue that came through here, and I'm going to blend some of these images together. And the settings that I'm currently on is around 1.4, uh, one fourth of the second, a little bit slower. Uh, F8 because I'm losing light fast, ISO 100, and yeah, my final lone tree. Uh, thank you so much for joining me uh, in our nest, and until the next video, whenever that may be, I'm, I'm going to try and vlog a little bit more in this new year. I hope you all have had a wonderful New Year and Christmas, and I'll see you all very soon. Take care.